Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. One of the most exciting things about moving back home is having access to a car again. And just being able to get up and go and drive somewhere just because you feel like seeing somewhere else. So, I'm in the car. I'm about to head off on the way to Grimsby, which is about four hours drive, I think, from here. And I'm going to go meet up with Alfie, a tattoo artist who's been on the channel before. I'm going to go and stay with him for a night. Don't know what we're going to do. Hang out, maybe tattoo, maybe take some photos. And then I'm heading over to Nottingham for two nights to go and stay with some other friends. And I'm going to take some photos with them as well. Also, just got my hair cut. Um, got the asymmetrical fade, the new version of the mullet. This side, short taper. This side, high fade. It's the future. So that night ended up being pretty tattoo fueled. I pretty much just arrived there, had some dinner, and then Alfie went and tattooed my knee. It was quite painful. I mean, it was fairly bad whilst it was being done, but for the rest of that night, I was in serious pain. Any bending of my knee was uh, pretty horrible. And Iona tattooed my leg as well. And then I tattooed Iona. You know, it was just an all round tattooing all night. Uh, got into bed around 1.30 and then the following morning, woke up really early so that I had time to take a portrait of them before they had to go to work. And then I went to the studio and tattooed Alfie. So, pretty full on. Sick, thank you, George. I think it's recording. <laughs> And to be honest, something I have to admit is that I'm not really very good at editing digital photos at the moment. I feel like I've got a lot to relearn. It's something which I haven't done properly in around six years. And I don't know. I mean, I feel like I understand how colours work, but these files are just so different to work with than what I'm used to. But I'm sure we'll get there. I actually picked up a copy of Capture One. I've always used Lightroom and Photoshop in the past. But I thought I'd give it a go. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And I think since doing that, I've got marginally better, but the whole UI and experience is completely foreign to me. So definitely got some work to do there. So this is actually the first trip I've done in a very, very long time where I've only taken digital cameras. I took with me my S1H that I'm filming this on, the GFX 100S and a GoPro which strangely came in handy. But the main reason for this was because I just got a new lens for the GFX. I picked up secondhand on eBay the 45mm f2.8, which is a 35mm equivalent in normal terms. And I kind of just wanted to give it a testing out, you know? What would be better than going on a little trip and taking some photos just for the sake of it, uh, visiting some friends and a good kind of road test before I use this for anything serious. So I then packed up and headed over to Nottingham to meet up with some more friends. My friend Josh owns a really amazing coffee shop in Nottingham called Akende, and somehow I managed to get myself tangled up in their first ever pizza night. So my day consisted of a trip to Ikea to go and get some glasses and some knives and plates, and then we headed over to the allotment where Barnaby has been growing a bunch of different veg and he's picking some of this to be used on the pizzas. And this is where I took the majority of the photos with the 45mm. For the most part, I stuck it on like f11, that kind of range. I was just trying to capture the most kind of detailed and rich photos possible. <laughs> just some images of Barnaby picking veg. And the main reason I wanted this lens in the first place was to try and have an alternative that was a bit wider to capture environmental kind of photos. So this did really work as a great example. And I didn't really pick it up for the shallow depth of field kind of look. That's why I've got the 81.7. It doesn't really need to compete with that. So I think this was actually a really good test of it. And you know what? It is really sharp like really really sharp but i guess what do you expect it's not really an entry-level camera when all the veg was secured we headed back to the cafe and had a coffee and then just prepared for some veg prepping some pizza making and all around just a really fun night and you know what i had so much fun working in a kitchen for one night admittedly i was with my friends and not doing a really intense job but it was such an incredible experience to try a shift of something completely outside of my work field and i'd actually love to try more things like this i think you can learn a lot from this and just kind of experience different things so if you've got a cool business of any kind and you'd like me to work a shift um hit me up you never know might pass through
Anyway, the pizzas were actually phenomenal, like really, really good. And that was pretty much the end of my road trip. So I've just seen through a friend a location that I want to go and photograph, which is fairly local to me. It's basically an epic tree fort bushcraft type thing. And this actually isn't the first time that this friend has provided me with a location to go and take a cool photo. Uh, he often is just walking the dog and stumbles across these amazing things. So thank you, Josiah. Um, it's appreciated. So I'm basically in a huge forest. I've got no idea where this location actually is. I brought a decent amount of camera equipment with me, so I hope it's not too far, because it's already a bit heavy. That is a good sign, though. Oh, I have no idea which way it could potentially be. Okay, this isn't what I was looking for, but it's been about half an hour of searching so far, and I think I've just found the first, like, epic one. This one looks like the real deal. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty sick. <laughs> it's got a tee, like a porch and a teepee. I am actually finding quite a few now. The problem is that they're always too like dense in the like area they're situated in. Like there's always too many trees in the way to get like a clean photo. So I'm gonna keep looking because I haven't actually found the one that my friend posted yet. So, uh, onwards, I guess. Well, that's a motorbike. That's something else. <laughs> I was literally on the cusp of giving up. I was about to turn the camera on and say I was gonna head home and get a guided tour another day because it's way bigger here than I thought. But I think, I think that's it. Now that is epic. I don't know what it is about these man-made tree structure things which really kind of, I don't know, just appeals to me. I don't know whether it's some form of inner childhood, this is something which I was really into when I was younger, or a desire to kind of escape into this fantasy land, or it was also a project I wanted to do for a while that was based around folklore, so maybe it's a mixture of all these different things, but this place was like a haven. And I'm definitely going to head back and try and get some more cool photos. And finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an amazing all-in-one platform for building websites. Whether you just need a new domain, whether you want to start a blog, an online store, or a website for your business or portfolio, Squarespace can do all of this and much, much more. It's really easy to get started and you definitely don't need any prior web building experience to build a really professional looking website. There's an amazing variety of different themes to get you started and you definitely don't need to know how to code or anything like that to build something really great. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you're a creative person of some kind and you need a portfolio for your work to exist online so that you can show potential clients your work. And Squarespace is an amazing place to do this. It allows you to spend less time figuring out how to build a website and more time making the work to fill it with which to me is a pretty big win. They also do have amazing customer support and loads of built-in features, which are really great for photographers or videographers and much, much more. So if you want to check out Squarespace, you can follow my link in the description or use code negative feedback to get 10% off your order. And thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I've got some cool ideas for next week. Next week's video, well, maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks, but the next video, I've already started shooting it. I think it's gonna be cool. See you then.